Hi, Sugar Bear. Oh, hi, guys. Suguli. Come on in. Grandma told us you could tell us about the Three Sisters Garden. Oh, I, I certainly can do that, and I'd be very, very honored to do that. The Three Sisters Garden, as you know, is comprised of the corn, bean, and squash, all planted together. It was very important to us historically as Haudenosaunee people, and it's still important to us today. Okay, what we do first, certainly, is build mounds of dirt. And they're about three feet apart. Now the mounds, what it really does is it helps heat up the soil so that when we put the seed in there, it can germinate earlier. So did they use shovels like we do? No, they didn't have shovels like we have today. Back then, they used to do a lot of hunting. And when we hunted, all the parts of the animal was actually used, including the bones, and we use stones and other things for tools. When will the corn be ready to eat? Shh, not yet. Yes, boys, let's talk about the corn a little bit. The corn, once we plant it in the middle of the mound and it starts growing, shortly thereafter we'll plant the pole beans in there. Well, how long before the beans grow? I'm hungry now. You're always hungry. Come on, you guys, settle down a little bit. Let's talk about the squash a little bit. All right, the third sister. What the squash does, is it helps keep the moisture in the soil so that the plants can grow. But along with that, it sends out long vines with a lot of leaves. And those leaves are real prickly. And so that's important because what it does is it keeps the raccoons out of our corn because they got very gentle paws and they don't like that prickly feeling, you know, of the squash plant itself. This seems like it'll take too long. So this is really how you used to do it in the old days? Did you use bone and stone tools too? No, oh, I'm not that old, guys. Um, do you plan on planting a garden with your grandpa this year? Yeah, it'll be cool to hang out with him. Well, if you need my help, you know where I am.